Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Learn French with Madame. Today we are going to finish the second, the first set of vocab from Bien dit de chapitre 7, a weekend en plein air. So this chapter, remember, is all about camping. We're going to first review the vocab that we talked about in our last video. Then we're going to get into some phrases. But ne t'inquiète pas, don't worry. Il n'y a pas beaucoup de phrases. There's not a lot of phrases, okay? So, with that being said, let's go ahead and start. So, les directions complète la phrase avec un mot de vocabulaire. So, I'm going to leave this to it, and I'm going to just read the sentence, and then you're going to have to fill in the blank, okay? So, numéro un, we have figure-toi qu'on n'avait pas de blank, alors on n'a pas pu faire de camp, pas de camp. So, you're going to have to look and see that this last word right here, in order to figure out what you might need to put in that blank. Okay? Donc, pour numéro un, you should have put briquet. So, get, imagine this, that there was no lighter, so we could not make a campfire. Numéro deux, Paul était en train de chercher du blank dans la trousse de premier soin quand Sophie est tombée dans son fauteuil pliant. Okay, so Paul était en train de chercher du quoi? What was Paul looking for? Oui, désinfectant. Très bien. Okay, numéro 3. Il faisait chaud et on avait soif. Heureusement, on avait tous notre... Oui, c'est gourd. So, it was hot and we were thirsty. Fortunately, we all had our canteen. Numéro 4. Au moment où nous avons allumé notre, nous avons vu un gros serpent. So, qu'est-ce qu'on a, qu qu a allumé? What did we light? Oui, c'est notre lampe de poche. So, when we turned on our flashlight or when we lit our flashlight, we saw that there was a big snake. Oh, mon Dieu. Et numéro 5, Jérémy a préparé un dîner excellent sur notre... Oui, très bien, réchaud. Remember that camping stove. So, Jérémy prepared an excellent dinner on our camping stove. Et numéro 6, la dernière, Isabelle s'est perdue en faisant une randonnée et comme elle n'avait pas de... Elle a difficilement retrouvé notre camping. So, Isabelle est perdue et elle n'a pas de quoi. What does she not have? Très bien, boussole. So, Isabelle got lost while she was on a hike. And so, because she did not have her compass, she had a difficult time finding our campsite. Très bien. Okay, so now... We're going to talk about some nouveau vocabulaire. So we're going to talk about some new vocab. So to say things that happen, you've seen all of these words in all those sentences that we just went through. But to say what had happened, we're going to first say figure-toi que. So la phrase, figure-toi que pendant que je campais, j'ai décidé de faire un feu. So imagine this, when I decided to go camping or when I was camping, I decided to make a campfire. So figure-toi que is your vocab word, and that means imagine that. Okay, et la deuxième, alors, you've heard me say alors a lot of times, and I'm sure you've seen it a lot before too, alors just means so. So alors, je cherchais la boîte d'allumettes, pas d'allumettes. So I looked for the box of matches, there were no matches or no matches. Et la troisième mot pour cette page, the third word for this page, à ce moment-là, you've also learned this vocab word already before, but it's just a little quick review. À ce moment-là, j'ai entendu une voiture, c'était mon père. So at that moment, I heard a car, it was my dad. Okay, on continue. Heureusement, you've heard heureusement lots of times before. Heureusement, il y avait un briquet. Fortunately, there was a lighter. Et bref, c'est un nouveau mot de vocabulaire. It's a new vocab word, bref. In short, 
on n'a pu faire en fin de camp et on n'a pas eu froid. So, in short, we could make a campfire and we were not cold. So, bref is our new vocab word on this page. Okay, et continue. On a presque fini. We're almost done. So, to describe circumstances like how something was happening, there's a couple different ways that you can say it. We have j'étais en train de. You've seen this a lot before. You might have seen it a couple times, but you haven't really actually learned what it means. So, you've seen je suis en train de a couple times, but maybe you haven't seen it with the imparfait, that été. So, we're going to talk about the imparfait next. But just so you know, j'étais en train de, I was in the middle of, montrer la tente quand Pauline m'appelait. So I was in the middle of putting up the tent when Pauline called me. So j'étais en train de, I was in the middle of. La prochainement, je venais d'allumer le feu quand mes copains sont arrivés. You've seen and learned this phrase already before when we did venir plus de plus infinitive with the future, the passé récent to say I just did something. Now it's just in the imparfait. So je venais d'allumer un feu quand mes copains sont arrivés. I had just lit the fire when my friends arrived. So je venais de I had just. Et la troisième, au moment où je prenais la photo de Julien, je suis tombée. So, at that moment when, or at the moment when, or as I was taking the photo of Julien, I fell. So, this one you can use two different ways. You can say, at the time when I was taking the photo of Julien, I fell. Or you could say, as I was taking the photo of Julien, I fell. Either way is perfectly correct. Most of the time in English, you would say, as I was doing this, that happened. So you'd usually use it as as in English. Okay. Et la dernière mot de vocabulaire. This is the last vocab word for this chapter. There really wasn't a lot of vocab, so that's kind of nice. We have j'étais sur le point de partir quand ils m'ont téléphoné. J'étais sur le point de partir quand ils m'ont téléphoné. I was about to leave when they called me. So sur le point de just means about to. Think of kind of like on the point of, like if you're on the point of leaving, then that might be a little helpful to say about. So sur le point de, about to. Okay, c'est fini. C'est tout le vocabulaire. Très bien. That's all the vocab words for today. That's all the vocab for this chapter. So you've got a little bit extra time. If you need to go back through, you can rewatch the first video lesson. But hopefully this set of vocab isn't super hard. Mais si vous avez des questions, envoyez-moi un email. Mais c'est tout et à plus.